Hello everyone, welcome back to another Bakugan video. Today we're taking a look at a much newer Bakugan compared to last time, which is the Bakugan Evolutions Platinum Series Pyrus Dragonoid. Now this one I found out in a while and I was pretty excited because it was the only Pyrus Dragonoid. Not the only Dragonoid because there were some in like starter multi-packs and I've got the uh, new six pack which has the attribute changing Drago. That's pretty cool but We'll get to that in the future. Anyway, taking a look at the packaging, they kept with the weird geometric shape, which this time it is in hexagon, which I believe that's what the entire box was for last season's Bakugan. Yeah, this one showcases the Bakugan. This time it's the core in its open form, which wasn't the case for last season's cores, because last season's cores were closed in the box, while well, this season they're open, yada yada. You got some nice artwork of the Bakugan itself, the label for it, which is the Platinum Series, which means it's a metal Bakugan. It even says true metal right here. Then down here, it tells you the contents of the box, what Bakugan you got, your Bakugan itself with a sneak peek at the card in the back, one of the cards in the back. Then the back is same. You got a picture of the Bakugan, although this time it's a bit harder to tell that it's a CG render because the CG render has it clear on the inside but painted all fancy on the outside, so I guess early plans for it were to be more like Mectanium Surge. But yeah, anyway, it, it still shows you the contents, how to roll it. But this time, one thing they've taken away, which I'm a little bit sad about, is they've taken away uh, the wave mates so you know who he goes along with. Which is a little bit sad. You got the bottom of the box in. Oop. Yeah, that's the box. So anyway, I'm gonna pause the video, get everything out. You know the usual, the usual. Alrighty. So here we have the contents of the toy, which is one gate card, two cores, character card, and the Bakugan itself. And as per usual, I'm gonna go from right to left. So starting off with the gate card, we've got, I believe this is Fenica. I believe this means you. Sorry. And this down here is the uh, double helix, which I believe it means you get an additional bonus if you've got double helix for your Bakugan. Oh yeah, here are the bonuses as per usual. I'm not going to name them off because that gets repetitive after a while. Here are his cores, which are green fist and double helix. The green fist grants a boost of 150 Bs and plus 2 damage. And his Helix Core grants a boost of 300 Bs and 3 damage, so we're all pretty good. Pretty good, in my opinion. And we've got his character card, which says Platinum Dragonoid on it. He shows off that those are the cores he uses, and... Ooh boy, get focused. And then we've got his ability, which if the camera would focus, says that he gets a plus... A thousand bees on a helix and green fist, which I don't know about you. But that sounds pretty pretty good to me, especially since those are his natural cores. Then we've got the Bakugan itself, which is the exact same mold as the Geogon Rising Dragonoid, but this time he's got solid metal parts, which are his two parts for like the central piece of the toy when it opened up. And the rest is a nice very nice clear plastic which very, very nice. Anyway, I'm going to see if I can't roll them onto this. Probably going to fail because I'm bad at rolling Bakugan. Ooh. Feels like i got to put more force into it. Ah. Now he is open. Now I can see the glory of it. Glory of him. And like last time, he's got... Little poseable arms. I haven't moved them yet, so I gotta pop them to move. And here now you can much easier see what is metal, which is this part and this part, which on the back is painted rather nicely. And you can you can tell it's metal. Like I'll com I'll compare them to Diamond Shark Tar, which is also clear and has no metal. Like feeling the weight of these guys. This guy is a lot heavier. Than this guy, which I guess here they are being compared right now, but yeah. 
which does come at an advantage of being able to probably knock your opponent's Bakugan out of the way, but has the disadvantage of, as you saw when I rolled it, popping off of the metal because he's just so heavy that even when the magnet catches, it'll just continue rolling because of the weight of the metal, which I don't know if that's good or bad gameplay-wise, but I do know that I like the weight. So yeah, I found this little fellow at my local Target for the usual Bakugan price. Actually, I think Platinum Bakugan, which is what this guy's labeled under as, around the same price of an Ultra, which is like 10 bucks. But yeah, I like him. If you want him, go ahead and hunt for him. And yeah, this has been the video, so he, I'm time to set the end stuff. If you liked, leave a like. If you didn't, dislike. Like, comment, subscribe, the usual. And anyway, I hope you all had a good day, and I really like this Dragnoid. Let's see if I can't get a good focused look at him. I think it's honestly more my camera being bad. Anyway, have a good day.